at first it was just, you know, really hard. Uh, even still now, like just talking about it, it's, it's a little hard. Welcome back. Kelly Antilly has been a warrior for the Zags, battling injury after injury to get on the court. This whole situation feels the most upsetting when it comes to him for most Gonzaga fans, as the fan base desperately wanted to see him win a national championship. Well, I thought I didn't believe it, honestly. I thought they were just like, you know, going to think on it and change the decision. As the days came by, day by day, I started to realize that it was real. The reality of the NCAA tournament being canceled wasn't easy for Killian Tilly to accept. When his squad had their final team meeting after the tournament announcement, Tilly realized it was the last meeting he'd have in Gonzaga's locker room. It was really emotional, I guess. Yeah, it was hard to, to talk. I mean, if you guys said uh, a few things, uh, but yeah, it was pretty hard to talk uh, and, and look at each other. Killian has now had a few weeks since that announcement and thus has had time to look back on his time at GU. First on his time with Mark Few. I will always be thankful for, for what he, he did to, for me, how he believed in me since day one, even though I was a little skinny guy from France. On the injuries that kept him off the court. Built me and, and probably made me tougher, made me stronger and mentally made me the guy, I'm, the, the player I am now. So I don't think I would change a lot, honestly. And on his experience at Gonzaga as a whole. My teammates these past four years were uh, amazing, all of them. I said, you know, I love them all. The fans were crazy. We were, everywhere we went, uh, it was like a home game, you know. We played another other team's team. They, we had more fans for us, so it was just a, a blessing to play for Gonzaga. And obviously, I'm a miss. Uh, putting his jersey on and, and trying to fight for, for Gonzaga. But, you know, we got uh, a lot of good guys coming in, getting better and better. So uh, you guys going to be excited for the, the next years. But, yeah, thank you uh, a lot. We're going to end out the show looking back on Killian's past four years. It only feels right that we end off the show with that. Basketball hopefully will start up again in November and we'll be front and center in the kennel when it does. Good night. Utility does a little bit of everything. Killian just, that's it. He just, when he plays basketball, he just goes for it. Killian shot the lights out today. I don't, I don't know what he ate for breakfast, but he was killing. On the bench for you, you're gonna like to get crazy. Sheesh, that was unreal. Killian out there shooting like he caught Wiltshire 2.0. I don't know. I, I was just feeling good, and my teammates were sit, setting me up, so it felt way better. Bad luck, yeah. It's life. You gotta think positively. Think about what's after. How much have you anticipated this moment of being able to come back and, and have a game like you did tonight? I mean, I've, I've waited this a, a long time, and. Uh, I really want to come back and, and you know, do a, a statement and, and say I'm back. I think I'm going to be one of the leaders of the team. I'm one of the, the older guys, so uh, my role is going to be to you know, uh, bring the, everybody together. I could be back in the, with the team and help on the team and, and be back in the kennel is always amazing. Emotional. It just the fans were amazing, and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, yeah, it was just uh, really, uh, great. It was a tough choice to uh, you know stay, but I'm, I'm glad I stayed, so I got one more chance to uh, get a national championship.